Hi everybody, I just wanted to uh, go over my, my new uh, Mosquito Magnet. This is the Independence model. And I'm here in Michigan. It's got, uh, we've got a lot of mosquitoes this year. And they're all over. Not sure if you can see it that well, which is why I brought a piece of white paper out here just to show how you know attracted they are to this machine. And maybe you can see it better with a white background, how many mos mosquitoes are really here. Uh, they just love the machine because of the CO2 that it puts out and the heat. Uh, they're really attracted to it. And so the machine attracts the mosquitoes to it. The scent and everything comes out here along with the heat comes out straight down and then the vacuum goes up here and it sucks them up and it's a great uh, design I think we've I've used a lot of different mosquito traps uh, I think this is one of the best in terms of its design and I just wanted to show you this has been out here for about four or five days now um, this is the trap part of it you can see there's a lot of mosquitoes in here you can see them flying around so they don't get out, you pull a drawstring, you saw a couple of them get away. And this is the amount of mosquitoes that have been caught in here over the last uh, several days. So it's about half full. That's a lot of mosquitoes. There's thousands of mosquitoes in there right now. There's still some live ones. So all you really need to do is to uh, pull the drawstring closed tight and then just let that one set and they'll the mosquitoes will dehydrate and die and I just have a second net and I pop it in there make sure it's open good and then attach the little hooks right here so that keeps the bag open and fully able for the mosquitoes to get in close the top and you're good to go so the other thing that needs to be replaced once in a while is the octanol, which fits in a little capsule down here. So it's got a scent to it that attracts the mosquitoes and it mimics the human breath along with the heat and the CO2. That's what makes them come to the unit you get sucked up in there, go in the bag, dehydrate and die. So I give it a thumbs up. I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's catching a lot of mosquitoes around here and there's a lot more to go. They just keep on coming. But at some point in time, you do break the breeding cycle uh, to a large degree. And we've seen a big impact in the uh, lesser number of mosquitoes up at the deck area. So we keep it back out here in the woods away from the living area and that makes it so that the mosquitoes are kept here in the shade in the woods and they don't travel so far and they get caught here so i'm real happy with it and i think you would be too definitely a thumbs up on this one all right you saw my two-week catch out there in the bag now i i've been running this since uh oh it's uh june 16th today and the mosquitoes really came out oh, a couple weeks into May. So I've been emptying all my mosquitoes into this five gallon bucket and um, wait till you see how many there are. And I give you my word, this is just from this year. Now that's a lot of mosquitoes. That is the catch from this year and uh, so far in there are literally, there's gotta be a million mosquitoes in there maybe. Uh, it's definitely cut back on the number of mosquitoes that are in my yard, but it's been a wet year up here and there's still a lot of them out. So I wouldn't be surprised that uh, I fill up this five gallon bucket before the year's over. And they were about that full right now. So I just dump them in a the bucket, put a lid on top, 
and uh, that's my catch. <laughs> Hope you catch as many too. You'll be able to enjoy your summer a lot better. Have a good one. Good one. Good one.